All right, guys, so today is, is a little bit different. Uh, we're we're going to take you on a pretty interesting journey with us. It's 3.20 in the afternoon, and that, that wasn't the desired time. Uh, my flight last night from Chicago up to Traverse City was canceled by American Airlines uh, because they couldn't get a crew there. So uh, then we were delayed this morning uh, and didn't get in here till Traverse. I think I got in about uh, 10.30. Uh, actually, it was almost 11.30. It was supposed to be 10.30. Uh, so then we get to the river and get this. Uh, we couldn't even get down to the launch ramp. Reason being, there was probably uh, two and a half feet of snow on the road. We tried to plow through ourselves with Kyle's four by, but uh, didn't make it too far. So, what did we do? We did what everybody else would do. We went to McDonald's and uh, went in the parking lot and found somebody that had a plow in the front of their car and said, hey buddy, how much would it cost for us to simply uh, go fishing today? And the only way we're gonna do that is if you plow that launch ramp for us. The guy said 20 bucks. I said, how about 40? So the guy came through with his own truck, plowed the ranch, uh, sorry, the ramp, and we were able to actually get down here and do a little bit of fishing today. So unfortunately, again, it's 3.20 in the afternoon, sun goes down at five. So we're giving ourselves an hour and a half to come out here, see if we can catch a couple steelhead and make use of the day. Hey guys, Kyle McClellan with XXL Chrome Chasing. Uh, we're here in Northern Michigan today. We're doing a little winter steelhead fishing. It's mid January right now. We've been iced up. The rivers have been completely froze for the past couple weeks, but we had a couple days in the 50s, had a little rain, so they broke up a little bit. Um, there's still a ton of ice. We barely got up the river, but there's, there's some fish in and uh, we're gonna catch them. So our bait today is we're using Potsky Fireballs and uh, we tie these up in sacks. We put about three or four eggs in each bag. Three to five eggs, I would say. So those are what the sacks look like. That's uh, white and chartreuse netting, and those are those are three to three to five eggs in each sack, and that seems to work best for me for these winter steelhead. It's just a little bit smaller presentation. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be running some we're gonna be running some fireballs. Those work surprisingly well for these fish. I mean, and uh, we also have some fresh steelhead eggs cured in natural Braxo fire. So we're gonna be doing some uh, float fishing. And we're just going to be fishing these deep holes. We're going to fish the deep holes with some slow water and uh, pick away at some of these winter steelhead here in, in Michigan. We are hooked up. Nice fish too. Nice chrome fish. Got me around the corner down there. Oh, he's uh -oh. burning. Uh -oh. He's trying to get me around that corner. Now he's under the shelf ice. A bit of ice out here today, but you know what's funny is that's when you switched over to the fireballs. Yeah, no. <laughs> you said like the second cast. Should I use these? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. Good one. Yeah. We think. Bad. Looks like about seven, eight pounder. Oh yeah, there he is. Not a huge fish, but it looks like it's about six to eight pounds. Oh. Well, given the given the time that we've had out here, yeah. any fish is good. We haven't had much time to really chase anything. It's cold too, you know, in the winter time. A lot of times it takes takes 20 minutes, a half hour to get them fish fired up, and give them to bite. So we've just been fishing quick and still catching some fish. You're good. Not ready yet? Just about. <laughs> uh, Not quite. Just trying to go underneath that ice underneath the back of the boat. Uh oh, uh oh. Doesn't help when there's just two of you. <laughs> we got shelf ice he was under, now he's under the boat. There we go. Nice January winter seal on here up in northern Michigan. Uh, got out here today. This barely got up the river with all the shelf ice. River just broke free enough to get the boat up and there's some fish around. So this is a nice, nice healthy hen steelhead. She's probably been in here for a minute. Hanging out, getting ready to spawn here in, this, in a month or two. And uh, jumped a spawn sack with Potsky Chinook fireballs. Nice fish. We're gonna I'm gonna get this hen back in the water and see if we can't put a few more in the boat here this afternoon. Been out here about an hour or so and getting some fish. All right, so the purpose of today's trip was to try out something new. Uh, basically, 
On the left there is fireballs. Those are Chinook fireballs tied in spawn bags. And on the right, we have Baraxa fire spawn bags, which is uh, something we've used up here for years. So I told Kyle, do me a favor, tie up both. Let's put them side by side and see what happens. Remember, fireballs look, taste, and smell like real eggs, but they're not real eggs. Good news is that the last fish we caught, we were able to release it because these fireballs look exactly like those eggs and we didn't need to harvest the fish to keep fishing. So uh, mission accomplished.